All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, we're back again today. Me and Ellie, we're headed out to the sugarcane fields to see if we can go find some rattlesnakes. Now, there's a couple different things we can find. We can find king snakes, uh, pygmy rattlesnakes, coral snakes. There's a wide variety of things we can find out here. So stay tuned. Good. All right, we just found our first snake of the night. Well, actually not a snake, it's a lizard. But if you look down here, you'll see this is actually a legless lizard. Now these used to be lizards and they have actually evolved to have no legs. So this right here is not a snake. He is actually a lizard and they call these glass lizards. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now check out this pygmy rattlesnake. This is, uh, this is about a regular size pygmy rattlesnake. Now you can see just how small he is. Now look, if you look, at the base of his tail, you see that little rattle. Now they say if you're close enough to hear the rattle, you're close enough to get bit. Check him out. Ooh, nice. All right, let's keep it going. Ooh, you can see that little rattle right there. That is crazy. He's only got about five buttons on there. He's orange. He's the color orange. Let's go. Now, when we're out here snake hunting, basically all we do, oh, oh there's a snake right there. <laughs> all right. All we do is drive in the road. All right, come on. These reptiles, they'll actually come out of the bush and they'll come on these roads because it has a lot more heat. Now, right here, we actually have a corn snake, also known as a red rat snake because these guys, they love to eat rats. He's probably gonna musk on me and he's probably gonna bite me, but if you look at his belly, you can see that checkered pattern. Now that actually looks like Indian corn, and that's another reason why they call him the corn snakes. But you can see them, he's very cool. Now he probably will bite. We're gonna get this guy off the road and we're gonna keep hunting. He's probably out looking for small frogs, rats, lizards, things like that. Bye, little guy. All right, let go. Bye-bye. It's a beast. Look at him, look at the colors on him. Look how long he is. Look how long he is next to my shoe. Man, oh man. Look at this thing. Look at that, man. That is a nice, beautiful corn snake. All right, so how we're snake hunting tonight, we're doing a method called road cruising. We get in our car, get in your truck, and you run these roads back and forth right after the sun sets. Now this sun has been baking on this road all day, and it's actually around 90 degrees right now. So all these animals, they'll come out of the bush, and they'll come on top of this road to get that heat. All right, so it looks like we just found pygmy rattlesnake number two. Let's go check them out. Pygmy rattlesnake number two. Now these are one of the three rattlesnakes we have here in Florida, and you do not want to get bit by these guys. It's a very, very corrosive venom. It would most likely destroy your finger. That's how small he is. Now this is the world's smallest species of rattlesnake. This little guy will light you up. He's just out here cruising around, looking for lizards and little frogs to eat. Very twitchy rattlesnakes. That's why you never want to handle those guys without a hook. These pump houses are great spots to shine around and see if you can find rat snakes climbing on the building, water snakes, and uh, even a bunch of pygmies like to hang around. All right, so we did pretty good. Um, we found about five or six snakes, which is pretty good depending on the time of year we're out here and the temperature. So it was a good night. We're gonna head back to my warehouse and we're gonna feed my own personal collection of pythons and Florida king snakes. So stay tuned. All right, so we just got back to my warehouse. I defrosted 20 large mice. Check them out there. Now these are frozen thawed. I get them frozen. I get them in packs like this. You can get about Time. You take your rats, you throw them in the bin, they defrost over a couple hours, and then the snakes are ready to eat them. So if you look over here, this is my snake collection. In this row we have all pythons. 
Then over here we have all king snakes. Now these guys, uh, they're different morphs. I got jelly morphs, albino. Uh, I got all kinds of stuff here, hypos. But today we're gonna be feeding. Now, you guys will see just how crazy these snakes are. Now these snakes actually are native to Florida, so you will find them out here in the blades. And they're actually snake eaters, so a lot of the time, they'll actually eat other snakes. Now we're gonna see if this guy wants to eat. This is a male, he's one of my breeder males, so he's actually been off feed for a little bit. Now when these snakes are ready to breed, they actually won't even eat. They're so focused on breeding that they will not eat. So this guy, he's probably not hungry, but we're gonna put a few in there. He might come back, he might eat them. This girl, she's gonna eat for sure. This is the pair. Uh, this is the female to the pair. She's a jelly king snake. And she's a constrictor, so when she grabs the prey, she winds it up. She thinks it's alive, and she thinks she's killing it right now. So that's why she winds around it like that. But these snakes are amazing. I mean, Florida king snakes, they'll eat any other snake. They'll eat baby rattlesnakes. They'll eat corn snakes, all kinds of stuff. This one is an Arctic Florida king snake. This one is really cool, but she's pretty... Pretty food responsive, so you'll see her go crazy. Once she gets a whiff of that, it's over with. Oh, don't fall there. Now these snakes do not care. They have a very fast metabolism. They'll just keep eating and eating and eating and eating. Now this one, he's a hypo Florida king snake. And as you can see, he's super, super foggy. And if you zoom in on his eyes, you'll see they're blue. Now when they go into shed, those, those eyes, they'll get milky and they'll get blue. And that's because they have another layer of skin pushing through and this old one's about to fall off. But this guy, he never misses a meal. You can see he's very bad at striking right now because he's going through shed. So he doesn't know where, where the rat is. Kind of got to throw it right in front of him. This next one, this is a hypo as well. This is a female hypo and she's actually a hypo flame. So she's a lot more red. Check out her colors, crazy. She's a super, super, good job. This one over here, these are actually called white-sided Florida king snakes. So if you look at them, their sides are literally white and that's why they got the name white-sided Florida kings. This is actually my favorite, I have three of these. This is my favorite out of the trio. He's just puppy dog tame. And he's going through shed as well, so there you go, buddy. And you see his jaws moving back and forth like that? Now snakes don't have arms, so this is how they eat their prey. They just individually move, move each side of their mouth back and forth and back and forth. And when we come back in 20 minutes, they'll be gone. All right, this next one, she's a big female, big breeder female. She's full of eggs right now, so she's super fat. But she's a great, great eater. Super aggressive when she eats. Next king snake, this is one of my favorites. This one is a, an albino. It's a pink pearl snow, het for hypo. So there's a lot of genes in the play here. There's a lot of things at work, but if you look at her eyes, you can actually see they're solid, solid red. Now, a lot of people know albino animals, animals with red eyes, they actually have very poor eyesight and very poor vision. So when she eats, it's almost like she's always in shed. You can see, she can't really see. Snake will jump right out the tub. See if she'll eat in my hands. Ooh, ooh. This snake, I believe, is also gravid, but we'll see. Look at the colors on that snake. Now, king snakes, as they age, their color gets brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. So all these snakes, as they age, they're gonna get 
more beige, more yellow, depending on what morph they are. This one is just gonna get super, super white. Round two, let's go. <laughs> now, they're, now they're ready, they know they're being fed. They're super, super ready. She's super ready. Come on, come on. She's ready, knows there's food. Say hi. Look, he's already got half that rat down already. Now you can she see she's got a little bit of bedding in her mouth. These are pine shavings, that's no problem. These snakes can fully digest that bedding. So most of the time, after they eat, you'll see them yawning. That's actually popping their jaw joints back into place. All right, round three. Oh my God, nice. We'll just let him choose his own. Slow motion strike. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> that's it. Stay tuned. All right, so that's the end of today's video. We had a great night snake hunting. Good day feeding my snakes. Now, if you guys like these videos, go down, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned because we're going to be doing tons of crazy stuff on this channel. See you.